Well, you've been very busy even though school is out. Over the past couple of weeks, I've been working with Masks for Docs, an organization that's been uh, the, working on creating protective equipment and giving it out to others in the community and other doctors. This is an example of one of the face shields that we are making. And so we're 3D printing it on our 3D printers at home. And we're using uh, plastic sheets that used to be used for the old overhead projectors as the face shield. Right, and it tell people, uh... Uh, usually you're up at 8 a.m. to go to school. Then by the afternoon, you're practicing, you're wrestling, you're working out. Now it's wake up at 8 a.m., go to sleep at 12, and you are printing from dawn until you fall asleep, correct? Yeah, this is like one of the only times that the printer's been stopped because it's too loud to be uh, on while I'm on the Zoom call. Wow, that, that's amazing. But where did you learn how to 3D print? Just uh, online, I've been like, it's been one of my passions for a while. Like I love technology and I love like learning new things. And that was one of the passions of why I wanted to get that. I've designed some uh, new tools and parts that I needed around the house that I couldn't find online or in stores. So I was able to make it myself. Right, you got a 3D printer a couple years ago using your birthday money and has it paid itself off? yet <laughs> not completely but i've been able to make some money back from it by designing custom things for people and uh making custom signs or other desk pieces that they wanted like i have some stuff up there that's all 3d printed so what has life been like without sports for you it's been hard because i love practicing it's like great being able to have the friends and the, the community around you when you're wrestling and having that practice every day but so right now it's been a little bit tough we've been doing like some, we've been watching flow wrestling videos and some videos from our other, other coaches throughout the, that we used to have and he comes in throughout the season. And so we've been watching videos that we have, we've been watching our videos that we, from our tournaments and just learning about new techniques and working out as much as we can. So this opportunity uh, to kind of have a lot of free time has given you an opportunity to maybe peer into the future of what you might want to do in 10 years, right? I mean, yeah. explain how this, this free time has really uh, opened the door for you. Yeah, it's allowed me to be able to help lots of people right now and start paving the path for my future.